Hello everyone, welcome back to Logic Tools. My name is Gaurav and in this video we are discussing about the different types of uh, switch case. As we know uh, uh, in if statement, if else statement, we discussed the two different types of if statement and that was the nested if statement and the ladder if statement, right? But uh, there is only one in this switch case of statement. So we are going to discuss about the nested switch case statement in this video. And we are going to use the same example we used in the if else statement like a boy found a wallet on a road and uh, he decides that if he gets money, if he gets money, then as per the amount he gets, he is going to purchase certain stuff. So same example with the same example, we are going to work in this video also, and we are going to start it. Okay. So uh, in last session, we discussed this particular case with the help of if else statement. Okay, with the nested and uh, the latter one. In this video, we are going to use the switch statement, switch nested statement. Okay, so as you know, the main uh, main concept of being nested is is using another switch inside one switch. Okay, so that is a case uh, in the same as we had in the if statement. So we are going to use our dev C++ compiler for C right now. We are going to create a new source project here. Okay, and now just we are going to include our stuff. Libraries, okay. So in include onio.h. So main and in this main function we are going to first get included the get ch and the return fine now uh, we will say that we have a two cases here now switch cases have certain restrictions i say uh, it has many kind of restrictions like you cannot use a multiple uh, uh, character constants and so so for the demonstration of the if case nested, uh, I will show you everything. Uh, what are the restrictions and what how we can use it? Okay. So first in this case, I'll say that we have two integer types uh, variables here a and b. Fine. And we give a as a value of uh, zero for now. Okay. So a will be like if it has money in the wallet or not okay so a will be zero for no money and one for money and b will be uh, b will be equal to say two uh, say 20 okay so as we know the switch case uh, switch statement works only for an specific value and but not the ranges and we cannot apply the conditions on this switch statement so that is why uh, we can't use uh, ranges here okay so the first case we are going to discuss about is for checking if there is money in the wallet or not okay so in that case we are going to apply switch switch to integer value a integer constant a so if there is uh, money so uh, we will uh, create the cases here so if case is zero, then then what happens? Then printf that there is no money in wallet. Okay, and then break. Similarly, if the case is z uh, one, then we will print. We'll just copy from here and paste it here. That we found some money. Okay. So let's write down here. We found some money. Okay. And the default one. Default is. You see, uh, default is very important in the switch case because you know. Uh, if anything goes wrong with the switch statement, this uh, default will be called and then we can know that, yeah, there's something wrong. 
otherwise there will be no result to display and we will not get any kind of uh, debugging option from them so uh, for defaults we say we got no wallet okay so let's go and just we are going to save it for now let's say nested switch dot c save it and then let's go and play try to run it okay so there's no money in a wallet yes our option is right because a has a value of zero right now okay we will try to change it from a to one so control save and f11 so we found some money right we have option a as uh, uh, we found some money now this was the simple switch statement i used in the uh, last lecture also but now we are going to use the nested sort of things right so obviously when we got in the money we got some money in the wallet then only we are going to use another switch to test what amount it is okay so in that case we are again going between this case one and break fine so we are going to define one more switch over here switch and then we are going to close it okay now again we need to uh, use this switch for b as we wanted to check what amount it is okay so in that case again we are going to uh, define different cases for 10 20 and 30 remember in switch cases we can't use any kind of uh, ranges or we can't use any kind of relational operator to check if the uh, amount is less than uh, 0 or less than 10 less than 20 uh, between 10 to 20 so we can't use that kind of statement in the switch cases fine so there are many restrictions uh, with the switch cases that is why it is not in a general use by the programmers and uh, that is why most programmers go with the if statement okay so for the 20 we are going to say uh, like we are going to let's have uh, candy fine similarly for other two cases we will say 20 and 30 let's have a ice cream okay and then let's have a toy fine so these are the three cases let's just go and save this is the nested sort of switch statement so let's go and save and press f11 so okay what is the result we found some money let's have some ice cream because the result is because the uh, amount in the wallet is 20 right so that's why we have uh, our result as let's have some money you can just go and change it to 30 and then just press f11 let's have a toy okay we just missed a default case here so how the default case helps let me show you say default and I don't know the amount and that's it so now how the default works if the case is any other than 10 20 or 30 like say 70 fine and then I will press F11 then you see how the default case works okay that it helps that if any any error any uh, cases does not match then the default will be called so this is how the switch statement nested kind of switch statement works okay you can always uh, use another switch inside this uh, any of the case but you need to remember that you can uh, use only as uh, one character type of constraints like if you will use for example say uh, char a I will say char a I'm just removing this a and we will just replace this to no and we will just replace it here also 
so no and I will say yes and save it and we'll try to run it let's see what happens so we got no uh, we got no wallet because you see uh, there is an error multi character character constant is available in the main function so uh, in switch case statement we are not allowed to go with the multi character character sets okay so we need to use always use one type of character set and that is our integer for here so let's correct this code for now and so a was the integer and uh, it was one so finally we got the desired result that uh, i don't have i don't know the amount so we can just change it right there f11 okay so this was all about the nested switch cases and uh, most of the cases we don't use the switch cases because uh, of the restrictions and in the next lecture i'm going to tell you what are the difference between the if statement and the switch cases and different types of if statement and nested uh, switch cases so if you wanted to know more about this if if statement and switch cases then please move to the next video and i will uh, tell you all about if and switch there and then after we will start the looping in this c programming language okay so if you enjoyed the lecture please subscribe share like and um, just come to the next lecture okay so thank you for watching i am gaurav from logic kids